you guys, Mars Thinking here, bringing you another Dragon Ball Z Dokkan battle video. And so the time is almost upon us. Uh, when this video goes up, the Saiyan Day banner will be out in, what, less than like 10 hours? Something like that. Uh, I will be live streaming my summons. Um, I tweeted earlier based on a comment that somebody put on um, one of the videos from earlier today. Um, <laughs> I will be streaming live summons, harnessing the power of the Margin symbol. And uh, we're going to see if uh, we can get lucky this year like we did last year with Saiyan Day. I pulled, I think, three copies of Broly in like 500 stones. So really hoping for a repeat performance. Uh, but we will have to see. So hopefully I will see you guys there. So obviously I will be summoning. But the question and the whole point of the video is should you summon on this banner or should you skip? Now... I say this all the time when I do these videos because I usually make these kind of videos for every banner, right? Um, the advice in the video is generally geared more towards people who are free to play or who spend very little on the game. If you're a big whale or you just summon on every banner anyway, then obviously you're going to summon regardless of what I say. And if you're a big Margin Vegeta fan, even if you usually would skip for bigger celebrations and stuff, you're probably going to throw some summons at this banner anyway. So... That is obviously something to bear in mind. Um, now, when it comes to free-to-play or people who don't spend a lot, of course, the big topic of discussion has been since, you know, February when it all kicked off on JP, the anniversary. So the anniversary for Global is in July. So we are still a good, what, three and a half months, something like that, until it comes out. And uh, the two anniversary LRs are just crazy busted, like two best units in the game by a significant margin. They introduce very, very strong 200% leader skill teams. So, you know, anniversary is the smart thing to be saving for. Now, as someone who did play a bit of the anniversary on my side JP account, I did make some of those videos doing the red zone. I started off with very few stones and by going through and grinding a bunch of stuff, I did manage to get quite a lot. The anniversary does give out a lot of stones. I think the anniversary hit top grossing at least twice, which I know happened last year for both JP and Global, but you still obviously want to be in that kind of mindset of saving uh, for the bigger celebrations if and when you can. But Margin Vegeta is a very, very good unit that introduces 200% teams to Global. So obviously if you're on JP, you don't know <laughs> what's coming next, right? So if you like Margin Vegeta, if you like the card, you might as well summon, although I guess the only thing we know for sure that's going to be coming is Golden Week um, in like less than a month. Um, and last year, of course, you know, Dual Dokkan Fest, GT Super Saiyans happened on both versions at the same time. This year, we very much suspect that the theme for the Golden Week banners will be the Dragon Ball Super Hero movie. So that is something obviously to consider saving for. But if you're on JP, you obviously don't have like the anniversary looming around the corner that you have to think about so remember margin vegeta will introduce 200 percent teams to global so he leads margin boo saga or vegeta family for 170 across the board and then an extra 30 percent for gifted warriors so gifted warriors in these two categories get a 200 percent leader skill this includes almost every single vegeta in the game uh, it includes trunks it includes gotens um, I think there's an odd couple of random ones, but obviously this team is a bit more specific, uh, a bit more restricted in terms of the, who gets the 200% buff than I would say like something like Beyond Super Saiyan. Although I guess, you know, the anniversary ones are restricted because the 30% extra was for Kamehameha. So no Vegetas, no Trunkses, like no, none of those units were able to get a 200% leader skill buff until now. And one thing to think about for Global is obviously when the anniversary first drops, the red zone comes out and the first couple of stages are available that comes out before the actual anniversary banners so if you manage to pull this guy and you can make a decent 200 percent lead team with him then you are going to have no problem when those red zone stages first come out so that is something to bear in mind obviously any upcoming super battle road stages global on the same day that this banner comes out is getting the worthy rivals stage which obviously margin vegeta will be on which means if you pull him you can run his team and run a 200 percent lead in that team so 
For me personally, I think the unit is really, really good. I think the unit is worth summoning for. But the problem is, of course, like I said, the big thing of the anniversary being right around the corner. Now, we don't know the full lineup of the banner. We know Martian Vegeta is going to be on there. We know this STR, Goten and Trunks are going to be on there. They're okay, I guess. They're not particularly impressive, especially after units we've seen like Heart Virus, Goku, Third Form Frieza, that kind of thing. Um, they're not the worst unit, but they're not like majorly impressive. So, I mean, if you do some summons on the banner and you only pull them then I guess that would be a little bit disappointing. They can be pretty good, but they're definitely nothing too crazy. And we do know that the uh, Tech LR Gogeta will return. So on Global, this is his first time returning on a banner, which means he will be available with red coins in the coin shop. Um, obviously, if you are going to drop a couple of summons on the banner, pulling your first copy or your first dupes for this guy would definitely be a bonus. Obviously, I really want to pull Margin Vegeta, but my tech Gogeta is only 55%, so I would very much like to pull some dupes for him uh, as we hopefully pull Margin Vegeta as well. And then after that, we don't really know what the banner is going to look like. We pretty much can guess that the previous year Saiyan Day banner unit, which was Int Broly, will be on there because... The past couple of Saiyan Days have had the previous Saiyan Day unit on there. And Int Broly is still very good. Unfortunately, he doesn't have access to any 200% teams. But he's still very good and I think a little bit underrated. I have a very strong feeling that Super Vegeta is going to be on there. Because he hasn't returned on Global. He obviously only came out in January. But I don't think he's returned on JP yet, has he? Oh no, he returned on the Androids banner. Which was a little while ago now. Uh, but he leads Mastered Evolution, which is the weakness for the Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta EZA that's coming out in, like, I think it's like five days after the banner. Um, so, obviously, you know, you can make other teams. I will make a team building guide, of course, as I do for all these Extreme Z battles. But if he's on the banner, then obviously that's going to make it easier. That might encourage some people to summon who don't have him because he's still a very good unit. He's obviously going to be on the 200% lead for the new Margin Vegeta team as well. So very, very looking forward to trying him out and seeing what he's like on a 200% team. But for people who don't have him, he's still a very good get. Pure Saiyan's lead, uh, guaranteed crits. And again, Mastered Evolution to help you out with the AGL Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta uh, EZA. So I have a very strong feeling that he could be on the banner which would obviously be very good and then of course this guy i feel like is going to be on the banner as well um again we talked about it in the video i made the other day where i kind of speculated what the banner would be people underrate this guy quite a lot but on a 200 percent lead team he's going to be decent he's not going to be crazy crazy good or anything but he's going to be decent in super saiyan 2 form he shares six links with margin vegeta and then when he transforms they have the exact same link set so he's going to help to power up margin vegeta so it would make perfect sense for him to be on the banner. I guess they could throw the Int Goku on there as well. Even though Goku's obviously not under the 200% lead. He is on Margin Buu Saga, which is the Margin Vegeta's leader skill. He is the like opposite unit to this guy. So I could maybe see him being on there as well. Um, so the banner could be pretty good. It's probably going to have some stinkers on there. Um, remember last year the Broly banner had like physical legendary Super Saiyan Broly and the STR one. So I guess you never know. For a lot of people out there, unless you're, apart from I guess maybe LR Gogeta and the two new units, you potentially have all the units on the banner already. So the value is maybe not quite as high. Now for global players, remember there is going to be tickets as well. I made a video for this earlier. It's going to be a paid ticket. So like the Pilaf Trove pack. So if you're somebody who does spend money, that's going to be very good value to pick up. And then who knows, you might get lucky, pull Margin Vegeta off the ticket, and then you don't have to spend any of your stones and can keep building them up towards the anniversary. Saiyan Day usually has a good amount of sales as well. So if you do spend a little bit, there will be some good sales for you to pick up as well. Um, but obviously the key is kind of always comes down to how many stones you have right now. Are you free to play? Do you spend a little bit? Like how many stones can you build up before the anniversary? But the thing that always happens, and I spoke to someone about this in my comment section the other day who wanted advice, right? Is it's all just going to come down to your luck when it comes to summoning. If you decide to skip Margin Vegeta because you want to save up everything you possibly can for the anniversary. And then you get to the anniversary, maybe you've saved up a thousand, maybe two thousand stones. And then let's say you pull both the new LRs in like... 400 stones 500 stones then you're going to really wish that maybe you'd spent a couple of hundred stones summoning for Martian Vegeta because you pulled the new LRs super quickly and then of course the opposite can happen where you can drop like even maybe you get lucky and pull like 
Miles and Vegeta in 300 stones, and then you get to the anniversary and you don't pull either of the new LRs, and you really wish you had those 300 stones still. So it is very difficult to decide what to do being free to play. Uh, the free to play life is a tough life in a gacha game, that is kind of the point. They always want to encourage people to try and spend. So if you are fully free to play or you only spend a very small amount, it's probably going to be a skip. Uh, his 200% team is quite limited. Like I said, it is basically just Majin Buu Saga and Vegeta Family. It's going to be Vegeta's, Trunks's, Goten's. There's a couple of other random ones. I think Gotenks's are on there as well, which is pretty cool. Um, but if you don't have a lot of those characters, like maxed out, link leveled, all that kind of stuff, you're probably not going to run that team all that often. Then whilst Majin Vegeta is a super good unit, you can definitely get by without him. Whereas if you get to the anniversary and you don't pull either of the LRs, you definitely are going to be kicking yourself because those units are ridiculously good. And some of the later red zone stages are going to be almost impossible for some people to beat if you don't have the anniversary LRs. So you guys will have to let me know what you're planning to do down below in the comment section. Like I said, I will be live as soon as the banner comes out. So come out, come over, check it out, send me some luck. Hopefully we can pull a couple of copies of the boy. I would like to get at least one dupe since he is in. So I want to be able to give him some additional and some crit. But yeah, hopefully we can get lucky. So let me know what you guys think down below. Um, if you do spend a little bit, I think the ticket is probably worth a shot. But let me know what you guys are planning to do down below in the comment section. So that is going to be it for the video, guys. This has been The Master Ningen. Smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. Check out the links down below for the Discord and the merch store. And I will see you all again soon. Have a good one.